Mark Halperin says that uh, when he talks to people in the news media, they often confide in him that we cannot, we cannot do anything that might facilitate a Donald Trump victory. I mean, that's the, the widespread sense. And so they, they're careful not to repeat what they see as their mistakes in the 2016 campaign when they gave too much press to the WikiLeaks of leaked DNC emails. So they are hyper vigilant to essentially not do anything that might be used to assist a Donald Trump election, which creates such a, a distorted presentation of the news. And Halperin has been making this, this point for, for months to expect a severe mental health crisis on the left if Donald Trump is elected. Right? It's going to be devastating because people on the, the left tend to have much more invested in politics than people on the right. So it's approximately a two-hour interview. Uh, it was a good interview. It was one of the better interviews that Tucker has done. Tucker is not a great interviewer. Sometimes he's, he's pretty good. What Tucker has going for him is a sense of authenticity, but uh, he usually does not ask uh, tough questions of his guests. My God, is the Drudge Report completely in the tank for the Democrats. I, I still check it out every morning. Still a useful compendium of, of links. But they, they just seize on everything possible to discredit Donald Trump. So yesterday, we got news that made, that made Israel's slow response to the Iranian missile barrage make more sense. So apparently... Israel's strategic air defense is running low on interceptor missiles. And so if Israel strikes Iran, uh, Iran has over 3,000 ballistic missiles to fire back at Israel. And uh, apparently Israel is running low on interceptor missiles. And so its air defense is considerably reduced. Israel apparently is going to be much more vulnerable to a follow-up Iranian barrage. And so that helps to explain why Israel hasn't attacked Iran yet and why Israel is changing its conduct of the war to better fit in with the Biden administration's dictates because Israel desperately needs resupply. Right? Israel is apparently running low on all sorts of weapons. It desperately needs American armaments and uh, the Biden administration shipped the most sophisticated American uh, anti-missile battery uh, over, over to Israel. And so due to its desperate state of running low on the, the weapons that it needs, Israel is <laughs> following the dictates largely of the Biden administration. It's reducing its strikes on Beirut. It's agreeing not to hit Iran's nuclear facilities or oil facilities. Now, when Donald Trump was asked about this, he said that Biden's pronouncement that Israel should not touch Iran's nuclear facilities was ridiculous, that the first thing Israel should do was uh, to hit Iran's nuclear facilities.